subject's going to be about sitting in with a band. Uh, what do you need to know? What's the rules? Um, well, first thing is you never go to a club um, assuming that you know somebody's going to be glad to have you jump on stage and play just because you walked in with a, a sax around your shoulder or you know uh, some other kind of horn or a violin or whatever. Um, uh, if you're new to the club or if you're new to the band, um, the best thing to do is wait till a break and make friends with the band later. Uh, obviously, you'd have something to compliment him about if you if they were good enough that you'd want to set in with them. So, of course, you compliment the band leader. And uh, you let him know that you also play. And uh, one of two things will probably happen. One is he'll go, oh, well, do you want to set in? In which case you go, yeah. And uh, the other uh, is he doesn't ask you to set in, which then you, you know, you find an entree to ask him if he ever has uh, people set in. And uh, if he says sometimes... Uh, just ask if uh, you could set in. And if he said yes, okay, you've passed uh, the first stage, uh, then uh, the best thing to do is uh, if you're uh, a horn player or guitar player or whatever, uh, you know, have everything ready to go, have your reeds on, and, and, um, and at some point during the next set probably you'll be asked up on stage. So here's what you need to know about once you get on stage. You probably need to do a final tuning or adjustment of an amp or whatever, uh, make sure you do it before the song starts. Uh, it's absolutely not cool to be, you know, like, you know, turning and tuning your sax while the song's going, thinking that it's not disrupting anything. Believe me, it is. Uh, you also don't just riff around thinking that, hey, I'm going to put something cool in here during the verse while somebody's singing, or, hey, I think I'll do a cool contrapuntal line while this guy's soloing. No, that's not cool. Just be ready to play. And then at some point, uh, probably the way it's going to go is it's uh, a song where there's a designated solo spot and maybe several designated solo spots, you know, for the different players in the band. So um, anyway, the band leader is going to point at you. Okay, time to go. So say what you have to say, you know, play with passion. Uh, play inside your skill level. Don't try and go outside, you know. Uh, just stick with what you know. Uh, and then as soon as your solo section is done, you stop. And then whatever's supposed to happen next will happen next, whether it's somebody else soloing or the singer comes back in. Do not, <laughs> I repeat, do not uh, keep on playing after it's time for you to stop. Best way to get... Uh, uh, to never get asked back again is to do that. Um, I'm going to tell you a story about a sax player that sat in with a band I was in just a couple of months ago. Um, you know, he did all the requisite things. He, he asked. He was nice to the band leader uh, and asked if he could sit in. The band leader said yes. Um, so, uh, the song starts. He starts playing his solo and it's great. He just lifts the roof off the place. Really one of the finest sax players I've ever worked with. Uh, the only problem is, after it was his time was done to solo, he kept on soloing through somebody else's solo. Then when that was done, he took another solo spot, denying yet another member of the band a chance to say their piece. So he took about five or six solo spots in a row. And you know, on his first solo, everybody was going, yeah, man, this is great, and the audience was great. And the second time, you know, the band is, is like going, what the hell? He, you know, he's not supposed to be playing here. And the audience is losing interest. Uh, and after about like the fifth time through, he got done playing, and the band was thoroughly over this guy. He was never going to get asked to sit in with us again. And it's, it's funny because he was a really good player, really fine player. But he wasn't humble. He didn't listen well. He didn't understand the rules. So anyway, uh, nobody even went over and talked to him after the set. When he was done playing, the band did and say, hey, let's give such and so a hand, you know, nothing. Everybody was just pissed at this guy. Uh, so 
let's go back to uh, now when you're setting in. When the song is over that you just set in on, head off the stage. Uh, don't assume that just because you were allowed to play on one song that you're allowed to play on song number two. You know, quietly leave the stage. And if they ask you back, if they want you to stay on stage and play some more, they'll let you know. But just assume that you had your spot, it's time to go. Now, one other thing that I want to tell you about when you're doing your solo. Um, if you do your one time through as a soloist and everybody liked you, they'll let you know they want you to keep on playing and take another couple of solos. Uh, and that's okay to do that, but never presume that it's okay to just keep soloing just because the audience loved you or even if the band liked you. They can like you one time through and now it's time for somebody else to play. Be concerned about pleasing the band. Don't be concerned about pleasing the audience. It's not the audience's gig. It's the band's gig. If you make the guys in the band mad, it doesn't matter how much the audience loved you. You will never have another chance for that audience to love you on stage with that band. You'll have to find another band. In conclusion, uh, there's basic rules about setting in. Uh, mind your manners. Be humble. Don't step on anybody's toes. Don't play any longer than your one solo spot. Uh, oh, and also, don't say anything into the microphone. It's not your gig. Uh, and if you played well, and if you were courteous, uh, and didn't overstep your bounds, you'll probably get asked to play again. You'll probably even get asked to stay on stage that night. Uh, otherwise, it's a one-shot deal. All right, we'll see you later.